is a Yes, it's a wild Wednesday here on Good Day Columbus. You know, a lot of folks think that skunks just get a bad rap. Well, they are kind of stinky. Well, yeah. And these are. are no exceptions right here. <laughs> Beth Nagoda is with the Columbus Zoo, and she visits us often, and she brought, look here, a couple little friends for us to share. Yes, this is Daisy, Daffodil, and Dahlia. So Aww. try saying that fast yeah, three well, times, right? Uh, um, not exactly flowery smells we've got going on here, though. <laughs> I know, kind of ironic, right? Gotta say. These, these are our little baby skunks. They're just a couple months old. And uh, believe it or not, even though they're so little, they're off of bottles. They're fully weaned from mom so they're eating soaked dog food and some fruits and vegetables right now these guys are omnivores so they'll eat a little bit of anything that they can find soaked at, dog food yeah face. so let's talk these are your typical everywhere skunks these are your everywhere skunks uh, okay. there's about 11 different types of skunks believe really? it or not which we just thought they're all under one frame right. stinky right right, <laughs> right. Um, but they're all found all over the United States and so oh. they'll have maybe like little different spot patterns or things like that but primarily they all have like the stripes but these are the regular old skunk that you'll find in your own backyard and this is kind of the time of year that usually all of our dogs are finding the skunks out oh. in the forest. Just because they're out exploring, the, the skunks are out exploring hey, this time of the year? They enjoy the good weather just like uh, we do. So, enough. you know, they're out at night, they're nocturnal and that's usually when people's dogs or other pets are going to actually get sprayed by skunks. Is right. They're going to get a little too close and the skunks can go, whoa, you're in my space. And they can actually spray that scent up to 10 feet and it's they yeah. can actually accurately spray it they can spray it kind of where they want really? to and it can be smelled up to That's a mile and a half right downwind <laughs> A yeah. mile and a half um, downwind? Downwind is how far you can smell it. So just like when we see them yeah. on the side of the road right. and that yeah. stink is yeah. real far out. As you drive through mm -hmm. it. And it's like an oil-based uh, scent. So oh. that's why it's so strong and it's so hard to get rid of. Now huh. these guys, I won't lie, are a little smelly. But you say they don't have their little Yeah, they don't have their full pouch? spray capabilities. But they'll always have that little uh, skunky smell. Musky kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, that musky wanna... odor that they have. So, all right, let's go back to the, the, the spray and the stink part. Yes. So it's an oil-based thing. Right. Right. So tomato juice, we've well, heard? not really. I've, I've been looking up some home remedies and things like that, and really you're going to want to find something that's going to help kind of bubble out that smell. Okay. So a lot of the remedies that I've found online are baking soda, hydrogen peroxide, and Dawn dish soap. And oh. Dawn dish soap is what we use when we're cleaning up animals with oil spills and yeah, stuff like right. that. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, so you're going to want to do that, and you don't want to actually wet your dog down first. You want to get that mixture on them before actually wetting them down. Okay. So it helps get it in there and it's going to bubble that smell out and you might have to do it two or three times right. depending on how close the skunk was you know when they got sprayed if exactly. it was a direct hit or not or if, if they it just kind of space between hit the downwind part you okay, know did you see that no what was I supposed well because I be? stopped for a second and he came up and nuzzled my feet like why'd you stop yeah why'd these, you stop? these little babies so love to be around us and they're they're getting used Aww. to being handled and they really like that contact now they, that's because they're with the zoo this is that's not yeah, true correct. if you find a please little... do not go and try and pick up skunks that you find out in your backyard right. A, you'll get sprayed, and that's yeah. not going to be fun for right. anybody involved. But they can carry rabies. These guys do not. They sharp teeth, don't they? Yeah, and they have little sharp teeth. They're yeah. omnivores, so they can eat a little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. And so you really, you want to just, you want to admire them from afar, especially because I, I know what it smells like when our dog gets Aww, sprayed. Nice. I don't want to get sprayed either. <laughs> that's are. very true. So you want to leave them alone. Okay, well, but can we visit them at the zoo? You can. We um, They'll probably be going down to our Animal Encounters Village for a little bit, but they're okay. also going to be in our Animal Programs uh, Department. So okay. they're going to be ambassadors. They're going to be Traveling, traveling Aww. with Jack, and doing the the news syndicate and things like that. So will they be at Jazoo? Um, they might actually wind up being at Jazoo because okay. we do bring animal visitors down mm -hmm. to Jazoo. We had one of our snow leopards uh, last week down Ooh. at Jazoo, and a uh, uh, wallaby and kangaroo. And Tom uh, Stoff, our CEO, actually rode in on a camel. Nice. Uh, yes, that was an interesting experience. Awesome. Real quick, explain Jazoo. So Jazoo is the jazz arts group. They come in and they actually do a summer concert series, and Great. it's down in our Water's Edge event park. It is awesome those guys do such a good job they play so well there's picnicking and all that kinds of stuff you can get all the details online but Great. we're supposed to have really good weather friday night um it's doors open at 6 30 the concert starts at 8 but your admission uh cost is in that ticket for jazz zoo so you can come and walk around the zoo for a little bit before it closes down nice. and i'll tell you a little secret that's one of the best times to come to the zoo is at the end of the day when the sun's starting to get, go down cooler. and it's cooler because uh -huh. all the animals are like all right this is great it's We're not in. one o'clock heat you know yeah. so just like us they enjoy the cooler well, weather thank you so much Thanks, for sharing our little it. girls yeah. we appreciate it i think you've so got a, a friend there yeah. they are pretty snuggly believe it or not yeah. it's kind of crazy still not a good pet correct not a good pet for We're sure but all right
Thanks, Definitely. Beth. Thank you. All right, coming up yet, we have a great way to get your kids to eat their veggies. It's true. We're yeah. going to visit with Lauren Van Meter from Whole Foods coming up here on Good Day Columbus.